20th century, these are the principles from the 21st century, and you are sometimes going to find yourself trying to choose between them. Not always, but sometimes. And, and you want to be aware of when you're in that position and where that tension comes from. Because it comes from the audience expectations of what they want you to do. Kelly McBride helped to kick off the PA press conference by giving a keynote presentation on how journalists and newsrooms can adapt to the needs of the modern audience. McBride encourages journalists to make the complete jump into the new guiding principles when most tend to hesitate between the 20th and the 21st century. So we went through a very long process that started with looking at how journalism was changing and how there were a lot of amateurs getting into the business and then looking at how the audience sees the information and then looking at the pressure points that are created from all of these changes. And we concluded that the ethics in journalism really are changing and that professional journalists need to figure this out and they need to reconcile this traditional way that we have developed for making ethical decisions with these new values that our audience expects of us. And um, at the very least, you need to recognize when, they're, when the tension exists. Um, I would advocate for stepping into the 21st century and embracing these new values. Um, but if you, if you can't do that, you have to at least try and stand with one foot in one place and one foot in the other. McBride outlined her modern code with three main points, truth, transparency, and community. A journalist must seek the truth and report it as fully as possible. Give a voice to the voiceless, but also remain accountable. A journalist must show how the reporting was done and why people should believe it. And finally, to make an ongoing effort to understand the needs of your community. They, they expect you to deliver a certain caliber of information, and when you get it wrong, even when you're just passing along something that somebody else said, they put that on you. And they won't hold that against an organization that they don't have a trust relationship with. So this is very much about community and, and how you build that relationship with your audience. And you do, it, you do it by getting things right. You also do it by understanding that we have tools now to tell stories in ways to identify stories that we couldn't identify and to tell stories in ways that we couldn't tell them before. During her presentation, McBride illustrates many media examples when ethics proposed an issue. From BuzzFeed skewing Twitter opinions after the crowning of the 2013 Miss America, to the thin line drawn when illegal threats were recorded on camera during the filming of the documentary The Interrupters. Well, so some people just aren't. I mean, some people who look like journalists and act like journalists have absolutely no core journalistic values. They value entertainment, they value sensationalism, they value making things go viral, but they don't necessarily value truth or informing a community or helping people um, carry out their democratic duties. And so really, it's going to be up to the audience to start to figure out which information providers are looking out for their democratic interests and which aren't, and which information helps them execute their democratic obligations and which merely is entertaining or distracting. To keep up with the conversation, follow Kelly McBride on Twitter at Kelly McBee and use her hashtag NewEthics.